Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Craig from the Electric Church Podcast. I'm here to do another comic book review for you. Today, I have Folklords, number one and number two, issues one and two. This is from Boom Studios, Matt Kintz, Matt Smith, and Chris O'Holloran. Oh, sorry if I'm slaughtering your name there. Um, that's the creative team that brought you this comic book. Uh, this is a mini series. It's issues one through five uh, will be released. One and two are on newsstands right now in your local comic book shop. Um, so I really enjoyed this so far. It is the story of a young man named Ansel right here, who as you can see is dressed in a suit and tie. Um, but dress is rather odd for his medieval village. They all find his manner of dress obscure and tell him so. He says it's his quest outfit. Um, so in this medieval village, uh, when people turn 18, they are to go on a quest and his quest is to find the Fork Lords. But uh, this is supposedly forbidden knowledge. There is knowledge is dangerous in this, uh, in this village and it is protected by a group of people called the librarians. Um, so when the word Fork Lords is, uh, is uttered at this ceremony where young people are announcing their, uh, their quest, uh, the librarians step in and say, no, no one can go looking for the Fork Lords. Knowledge is dangerous. Uh, we're going to assign you quests and you, you're going to have to follow our rules. Um, and so what it really is, is the story about authoritarianism. Um, and I think there's probably going to be some fourth wall breaks. They're kind of teasing that already. Um, issue two, you see him go on his quest, start to begin his quest. Um, overall, I really, really enjoyed this. I'm going to pick up all five of this miniseries for sure. And I hope Boom Studios uh, does something else with the property and continues to do another uh, few uh, short uh, miniseries with it. Um, like I said, I really enjoyed it. The Artwork is uh, cartoonish and is very appropriate, I think, for the story. It's a kid-appropriate story. Um, I like the uh, idea of this story of morals and um, authoritarianism uh, coming from this sort of different point of view, different perspective of, uh, of a medieval village. Um, and I think I mentioned already there's been sort of a tease on a fourth wall break. And I think that's probably where we're going to end up in the series is him finding out that he is a character in a story in and of itself. And the folk, folk, folk lords being the, the creators of the story, most likely. Um, not to spoil something that hasn't been manifested yet. But um, I think that's probably where it's going. Nevertheless, even though I can see the... I can see the probable outcome. I still thoroughly enjoyed this. It's kid appropriate. If you uh, are looking for something for your kids to read, if you're looking for something that's non-superhero-ish, um, this w book was a lot of fun. Uh, so this, again, is from Boom Studios. Uh, issues 1 and 2 are out right now. Um, so go find them at your local comic book store. And as always, support local businesses support your local comic book store your local cafe your local coffee shop uh all of those places and many more most of the businesses in this country are family-owned corporations so keep that in mind and buy local support local thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video or any of our other videos uh hit subscribe hit the little notification button and of course share uh these videos on social media thank you again for tuning in